Not Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. That's a game that's never appealed to me. I don't know why. This game might be great, but it's never appealed to me. You have no idea Xanabu is a writer. Yeah. She sure is. A well-published author, from my understanding. She linked me some of her work at one point. I think it's in our Discord if you want to check out her work. Certainly welcome to do so. All right, let's take a look south. What's going on? Morning, Flash. How's it going, man? I have a... Uh, I think it was actually tweeted. I have a really cool um, new mug from the S uh, SLC GameCon from courtesy of Flash. That was uh, something I'll, sh I'll be drinking beer out of on stream at some point. So. All right, what do we have? Uh, really bad prices here. We're looking for, as uh, a triple mission, probably Hexen. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick look if we have any legendary things. We don't, and let's head south looking for uh, orc contracts. Um. Stop beating people up, Stutters. All right, and he's a little sad, so take a hit of that. Now everything's great, fantastic. He loves his life, doesn't want to leave the company. The company is everything to him. All right. What else do we have? Really overpriced trade goods. Um, disappearing villagers, we could quickly take care of that. That'd be nice. Rothstad. Don't know where that is right now. And is this Disappearing Villagers? All right. I'll tuck that down. It's going to be a dumb fight, kind of, but we'd like to get rid of the modifier and buy the trade goods and then head south. Okay. I know. I know. That's so cool, Xanabu. I want that. When, I, yeah, no pressure. I understand that productivity is a uh, can be a fleeting thing. But if and when that occurs, Anavu, I would love I, I'd love to cross promote that on the channel because I love the idea. There's a Battle Brother inspired uh, uh, fiction coming out. That'd be super cool. All right. Now, uh, what do we have here? We need an axe. Which axe? Just a regular great axe, probably. About to fight nachos. Nachos are annoying. Uh, even late game when there's so many of them. I think we should be fine. Unarmored means javelins. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remind me, Zanabu. If you're still uh, if you're still active in our channel and uh, something like that comes out, I'm happy to promote that. It's hilarious. Not hilarious. It's super cool, actually. And you know what? I've actually been looking for good. I like. Um, it's not really military sci-fi, although I do like military sci-fi, but I like uh, all of those. I'll be curious to see what it is. There's a strong chance I would probably just read it as fiction anyways, so. Yep, no pressure. Just just throwing it up there. All right, what do we have coming in here? And why is my one archer like so much slower than the other archer? Really? So, Sifo gains is 78, and what's Xanabu? 58, why is she so much slower? Her, I thought her initiative was better. Why is it so bad? Hmm, let's figure that out. I read the Black Company stuff. I don't know, maybe? It sounds familiar. Did I accidentally skip Sifo to begin with? I might have skipped Sifo to begin with. Maybe that was it. Okay. Uh, military sci-fi, my Asimov or Heinlein fan? Yeah, I've read all of, I think I've read everything Asimov's ever written, and he wrote, he's written a lot. And I've read a fair chunk of Heinlein stuff too. Yeah, those are both uh, authors I grew up on. I grew up uh, reading golden golden era of sci-fi books. Can I feel stupid in this chat? What does it feel stupid about? All right, let's hang out. Let the scrubs do what they want to do here. It might be worth controlling this location there. Everybody's so well read. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you can call. I'm not sure. All right. If you're going to be well read, well read is like the classics, right? And yes, these are the sci fi classics, but I'm not sure in the general scheme of well read that counts. That's all I'm getting at. It's my favorite sci fi posted somewhere. Uh, I have a Goodreads account which is shared with you guys. I don't actually update it very often, but. Because basically there was almost no interest in it, so I'm like, well, why the fuck am I putting the effort into it? 
but maybe I should again. Um, my favorite sci-fi book of probably the last 15 years is called Blindsight by Peter Watts, and it was excellent. Like, super insanely good. And I would highly recommend that to anyone who's interested in sci-fi. Um, but there's a lot. I, I've read so much sci-fi in my life, and there's so much good sci-fi out there. There's no way that's the only one that I would recommend. I liked Forever War a lot as well. Alright, we don't want to be eaten by these things, but we'll do what we can. I read Six in the New... Uh, is that the author? So there was that, there's that trilogy. It's by, a, I think it's a Chinese author whose name I don't remember. It, it has the three-body problem in it. I've read that series and didn't actually like it very much. Okay, yeah. So the only reason I know that name is because the name is uh, outside of my normal naming scheme and well enough that I'm like, that's probably the same one. Yeah. Yep, I've read a lot of Philip K. Dick as well. I have uh, I have the full combo. I got one right here. I got these. So these are like the, there's a set of five of all of his short stories and then I own like, I own Man in the High Tower, uh, High Castle rather. I own, uh, you know, do uh, Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, etc. Greg Bear is another author that I love. Sci-fi is a broad turn. Oh, absolutely, and it gets a lot of stuff gets lumped into it. Yeah. Philip K. Dick was so far ahead of his time in what he was writing, and granted, a lot of this is like acid stuff. But he's got some he's written some really good books. A man of culture, a man of nerd culture, maybe. Like uh, when it comes to uh, sci-fi and fantasy, I've read so much of it and love it so much. All right, we're crashing these nachos over here. Is there a... Xanabu, you're in the fucking industry. Why haven't I asked you this before? Is there a term so I can stop saying sci-fi or fantasy? Is there like a SFF includes all of them? Yeah, I started the Hyperion series. I read the first one. I don't know. It was a weird mix of like literature and like... Uh, I didn't get through the series. I liked parts of it. I thought it was a very interesting premise. Uh, but I didn't finish that series. And I know it's con it's repeatedly uh, recommended as one of like these all-time like best sci-fi series. So a part of me is like I probably should have finished it. Maybe I'll get back to it at some point. There's definitely been books that I definitely series that at some parts of my life were less interesting than other parts of my life. Yeah, super strange but super cool. I just didn't it, for some reason it didn't motivate me to read through the rest of the series. Yeah, I like Dender's Game, although I don't like the political leanings of that author, and I didn't love the rest of the series. Uh, Ender's Game was a book that I read as a kid, like a million years ago, and then stumbled across, uh, upon again as an adult and reread, and I'm like, oh, this still is pretty good, although it has some weird, weird sub-themes in there. Yeah, the movie is... I didn't go near the movie. I, I didn't want to ruin my recollections of the book. And I have seen, and I kind of, I kind of endorse the sentiment, not the author's sentiment. Well, I mean, it is the author's sentiment, but not his personal leanings. But his, one of the sentiments he's posted is like, "Judge my work on its own, on its own merits, not my, not the views of the author." And I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm kind of back and forth on that. Part of the thing with that is, by supporting their work, you are, in part, endorsing the author. So I liked his work. Yeah, not touching the movie. Fuck the movie. I heard only bad reviews about the movie. Yeah. He's so right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Starship Troopers was an enter- Yeah, I thought Starship Troopers was an entertain movie. It was not a good movie. The book was way better. If you like Starship Troopers as the book, though, you should read, um... God, what's his last name? It's like John Stakely or something? I got it right here. Yeah. This book. This was like... For me, if you want like a good Starship Troopers book, like kind of book, this this was an excellent, excellent book. Starts a little bit slow, but gets amazing. This is called Armor. And I hated the fact this guy didn't write any more books of this type because this book was incredible. And I was like, I was so disappointed. Hmm. 
All right. So we turned it in. We need to wait to daytime. We want to buy all their trade goods. No, nah, it's John um, Stakely. It's the author. Do I have books on my floor? Uh, no, but I have. Let me see if I can look in it. I've got a bookcase right there. I don't know, I probably just fucked up my camera positioning, but oh well. So. All right. And I have lots of bookcases. And every time I've ever moved in my life, one of the things I've had to have gone down is gone through my book collection to slim it down as I move again. Because I uh, actually I bought a Kindle in the last six months, and my book collection has not continued to grow because of that. Because now it's starting to be digital. I don't actually know how I feel about the Kindle. Yeah, I read the Sword of Truth books too, uh, Recruiter Shark. I never finished that series. I think I got like seven or eight in. It's a weird mix of like philosophy and uh, fantasy. The issue I had is I was reading it simultaneously with the Wheel of Time series by Jordan and kind of like there's so much overlap. I got a little bit annoyed how much overlap there was, but there's some parts of that I really like. I call it like loyalty porn a little bit, um, which is a, a theme that I really, really like. I like the uh, intense like trials of character with like loyalty and like sacrifice that come out of some books. And there's a lot of that in the Good Kind series that I like a lot. But I, for me, it's kind of like sometimes I'm like I'm worried it's gratuitous the amount of that. So. Close as a house store ever get. I don't know, Kex. There's been some talk again. Like, if I do more of these conference things, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be more interested in my own streaming setup that's a little bit more mobile. So, all right. Uh, what are we doing? Are we buying these trade goods at 520 and 365? Probably not. Probably not. Still making any money off of it. Do we need tools? We do. Let's pick up a couple tools at uh, 215. Seems reasonable. Uh, and let's head south and look for the orc contracts. Dark Materials. Which one is that? Who's the author on that? And what are the book titles called? Because that rings a bell. It's just a random orc camp over here. I mean, we're going to take a random orc camp. I want... Um, I still want to see if... Uh, is an orc warlord there? I want to see if orc warriors can hold named items yet. I think they can. We've already seen named shields. We should be killing all the orcs we can see. Philip Pullman. Golden Compass. Golden Compass rings a bell. I need to Google that now. His Dark Materials. Take a look. Uh, no, I haven't read that. Yeah, see, all right. The second, the second paragraph goes, his dark materials have been marketed to young adults. Although Pullman wrote with no target audience in mind. I'm always a little dubious about young adults. I don't really like, um, I like fiction with uh, a little bit darker themes. Or a little bit more adult content anyways like it's more interesting to me that way all right where are we has very dark themes that's, that's promising it's a good one the movie was not actually good okay you know all right we need to, okay all right do i have a modern channel i need a new channel on the discord i want to i want a book i want a book channel there's, there's just too much interest in this i'm suddenly like i'm actually in need of good fiction right now especially with traveling especially with uh uh, especially with this this camping coming up. I would love to have some good fiction to bring up there and I'll take some good suggestions. Cheers, uh, Recruiter Shark. Uh, nice meeting you, man. Have uh, safe travels back and hope to see you again. I read Sanderson's Stormlight Archive. I started Sanderson and everyone is a huge Sanderson fan except apparently me. I read, um, what was the book? It began with an E, I think. It was like a book about some crazy weird city. I liked his magic system. Like I found that interesting and I read a couple of novels by him, but I never could get into him. Yeah, I've read Hyperion. Oh, some Jordan-like traits. They chose him to ghostwrite for Jordan after Jordan died, right? So yes, apparently there was some similarity of interest. Mistborn. Does it have to include sci-fi? No. I, uh, my current reading list is basically, at the moment, it's like self-improvement, uh, sci-fi, fantasy. Uh, I like a little bit. Sometimes I like uh, alternate history is pretty interesting to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm a big military sci-fi guy, which kind of bleeds over into military books in general. I find interesting. Strategy is interesting to me. I don't know. We can, we can definitely talk about it more. 
and be happy to do so. I don't know if I want to go through like a list right now. I've done it on stream before. King's Killer's Chronicles are excellent. Yeah, Rothfuss is a great author. I wish he would write a little faster. Same with Martin, right? Like, I mean, and I know, like, he's got a streaming channel, Rothfuss, if you guys didn't know this. Uh, and in, in his streaming channel, his moderators, bas his moderators basically ban anyone who asks about uh, deadlines because he gets that question uh, ad nauseum, right? I've read Stanislav, uh, Stanislav Len as well, although not always works. I have like four or five of his. Uh, I really like Solaris, which is the one he's known for. That's why I picked up the others. I don't think I've read that particular one that you just mentioned, uh, Iwan. The Pilot Pricks is a series though, right? There's like more than one. And it's like, anyways. All right, we're killing Orc Warriors, right? Okay. Yeah, I've banned them too, Zen, but it's not reasonable at all. Have I read Miles and Book of the Fallen? Absolutely have, read the whole series. And I've read a number of the stand, uh, there's like two series that are like kind of related to that. I recommend that book all the time on channel, uh, Veronica, that, that series rather. It's one of my, again, all time favorite series. I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. I'm fighting Berserkers and not really paying attention. Boss is almost dead in rally, good to know. The other guy made spin-offs. I haven't I haven't read all the spin-offs. I loved that series. And I do reread that series occasionally, but man, it's a commitment, right? It's one of these, it's like a multi-month commitment to read that series, because it's ten books at like like nine hundred plus pages each. So I liked Ed McCaffrey when I was younger too, but it didn't seem to translate into adulthood very well for me. Red Knight. Is that the uh, Fell Knight series, Tentacle Shogun? Because I've read that series too, and I did think that was excellent military sci-fi. And it has a lot of the themes I like too, with uh, what I, again, what I call honor porn, where a lot of uh, themes of loyalty, sacrifice, betrayal, things like that. I should be disarming this guy. I know I have a disarm somewhere. I'm just not paying any attention to it whatsoever. Yes, six sock. There's a very steep learning curve in terms of the number of people you have to uh, figure out what their relevance are to that that book. All right, we definitely did not do a good, very good job about protecting ourselves here. Where's my bannerman? He's already attacked. Traitor sun cycle. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I read that one too. That's I, I picked that up at the same time. That's um, he like starts as like a 14 year old mercenary style stuff, right? Because I read that one as well. Watch your series. Don't know that one doesn't ring a bell. The name doesn't ring a bell, Iwan. But again, I would love these. I would love these thrown into the Discord channel because I won't, as I stream and talk with you guys and process the game at the same time, I won't remember these. But getting it chucked into the Discord means I can look them up after, and I'm actually really interested in what we get out of these. Hammers, slammers. Don't know that one. Lost Fleet. I think I started that and didn't love it. It was a little too, like, self-congratulatory, maybe. No, Zanavu. Go ham. Let's start, the, let's start the, uh, the channel off right. Uh, Alright, what are we doing here? As you can see, I had a pretty good time chat. I'm feeling chatty. I'm in a good mood. I'm really I'm really pleased to be home back on my uh, home home system here. Oh, by the way, were there any famed items here? Because we came here specifically for orc famed items. I don't think there were. Promise of Blood. I read the first one, right? That's the... Um, Brian McClellan, uh, McClellan the uh, like the powder mage guy, or is he? Am I mis misremembering? Childhood End by Clark. Yeah, I got that sitting over here somewhere. Um, I didn't love Childhood's End. I thought it was a little too woo for me, Magu. Uh, but I did like Clark as a whole. I read the Rama series. I liked um, Jesus. What was the one with? Uh, it was another set of short stories. There's like two of them about like it was like a really desolate like planet. Um, 
really desolate, settled world with like only a couple cities. I know, I like Clark. Clark was one of the ones like Asimov I grew up reading. Yeah, that was the problem for me, Six Sock, was the ending of that, that, that book. And actually, some of the, there's, there's, that theme is not a theme that he hasn't touched on multiple times in his work, right? left to do in this fight. I think we're pretty good here. Shadow campaigns. Don't know that one. Dump it in my Discord, Tentacle Shogun. Because I would like to follow up on... I'm always on the hunt for good sci-fi and good fantasy. So if we have anyone who's got good suggestions that I haven't read, I absolutely want to follow up on it. All right. Mel Clamara gets worse as the series goes on. I read the first, I think the first one of that series, and then the time when I read it, I think the second one, maybe I read first and second, and the third one wasn't out, and then uh, didn't follow up with the series. So maybe I just need to pick it up. Prince of Thorns, that rings a bell. I think yes, but maybe not. You get a lot of... Um, type of amnesia where basically there's other existing shit that gets in the way of memorizing new ones and that always happens with me with authors right i've read a lot so sometimes i won't recognize the the name until i dig into it again uh, what do we want stamina on stutters or hp i want to get up to 75 hp i think all right any other levels here we got a level on sully he's at 75 hp is resolves good let's creep up uh that one Zenobu got a level up Good. She's up to 96 accuracy, which is pretty damn good. It's just taking a very long. She's only level 17. It's taking a while to get there. Uh, I think we're creeping up initiative, right? Do we want to go to 70 HP too? Maybe. Okay. Other level ups? Not at the moment. Okay. Good stat for Fane One Hand Axe. Uh, increased damage, increased armor penetration are always good. I actually thought that plus head chance was okay on axes, but it may not be. We'll see. Do I want to take this fight just for the orc warriors? I probably do. Just repeatedly dumping experience into our brothers really isn't a bad thing either, so. Sure. Uh, Library of Babel. That one does not ring a bell. Ooh, I would love that, Six Sock. Tag that, yeah, when you post in that channel, try to do like a very, very, very brief, like what the book's about. Like that's a very interesting topic. I like anti-heroes in general. You, you probably wouldn't believe that of me, chat, but I do identify with anti-heroes. Wonder why that is. Have any of you guys read Exchange of Hostages? I'm sunshine and light. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did I like the sequel to To Like the Lightning? Ah, oh, man. There's three of them out now, right? I thought the first one was super good, and the second one got super heavy in the woo for me. I had a bit of trouble with the second one. Not soulless at all. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that. Welcome back. Welcome back, Moppy Pop. Tata. It's ta-da, not ta-da, please. All right, what are we doing? We're moving one guy forward and passing everybody else's turn? Seems good. Yeah, I think I read the second one and started on the third. I definitely finished the first one going, wow, this is super good.
I hate that when there's a good, like, I mean, I know it's struggles. It's a struggle for everyone to keep the quality of their work up, but I hate it when the first book is amazing and the second one's not. Yeah, I never could get into the Dresden stuff. I think I, like, started it and was like, I don't care. It was too, um, too light. I think is what it was. It was a bit of like, I like humor in my books just fine, but I, I don't know. I don't like books that always turn out well. I don't like books that are like super unrealistic maybe. I mean, I'm reading sci-fi fantasy. It's a little bit of a bitch to be like, I don't like books that are super unrealistic, but I, I don't know. Dresden gets dark. See, like, that's, that's, a, that's a selling point for me. Rough till book three. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a weird thing too, Xanabu. Like, you must you must have this thing as an author, right? Like, I don't know what to say. I, I would never want to tell an author that I didn't like their books. It just feels like unnecessary on some level. It's like, yeah, I'm happy to talk about it here because what I'm actually doing is talking to my viewers about my preferences, which feels like being honest about that seems totally reasonable to me. But man, it would suck to be in like person and be like, you know, because those are their works of their works of love a lot of time. They're, they're huge amounts of time and effort. To be like, yeah, I didn't like your book. It wasn't good enough for me because X, Y, Z. Such a personal preference thing. Anyways. People have no fear. Yeah, I don't know if it's a fear element. It, I think it's much more along the lines of, you know, how do you... It's more of like a reasonable social interaction. Like, if someone came up to me and was like, hey, you're a filthy robe. I'm like, yeah, hey, it's nice to meet you. And they're like, I fucking hate your shit. I'd be like, oh, what do I say to that? I don't really know you or like you either. Like, how do I respond to that? <laughs> right. Yeah, like, maybe that's what I do. I like, I like bro fist him. I'm like, I hate your shit too. <laughs> All right, I don't see any famed items again, which feels kind of bad. <laughs> right, Bagaboo, it'd be just Bagaboo, it'd be uh, super weird. It'd be a super weird interaction. Not that there aren't plenty of super weird interactions already. That's an optimistic uh, work warrior there. He thinks that's a good spot for him. Guys are creepy. I like him. Maybe I'll have to read one of Xanabu's books over. Uh... We just finished the orc ambition. Okay. Or that's kind of a bummer. We only got like two orc fights out of that. We, man, 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 man. All right. Told me I won't like it? Uh-oh. What if I come back and judge you about it? I'm like, I don't know, Xanabu. What if you just came back one day and like for no reason whatsoever I just unmodded you? And like I'm like, yeah, I read your book, sorry. Read your first book. 
read your favorite book, read the book you recommended. I mean, there's, there's definitely a cost to like being forward about either content you produced or content you endorse. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we doing here? We're camping till morning. Okay. Join us at the campfire tonight. All right. We finished orc ambition. I'm actually a little bummed with that. I really like orc uh, orc fights, but these were very, very light. There's a triple right there. What is this? Where were you a minute ago? Bone plating, iron will, iron will again. We're starting to have too many iron will potions. Trophy necklace. Good. I do want to check the southern areas for good stuff here. All right, a little low on food, but not super bad. They have a. All right, what is this? Greenskins. Hell yeah. Uh, I didn't check where that was. I absolutely should check where that was first. Where's Holmic? Yeah, we took one that's kind of far away. All right, uh, let's swing by the citadels along the way, though. Uh, no backgrounds of interest, particularly. Grab ammunition at 91 for sure. Probably going to grab it at 115 as well. And let's go ahead and check the armor in the weaponsmith. Not a lot going on here. Recruits are bad too, right? Didn't see anything of interest for hires. It's a disappointing citadel. Don't know a Kevin Heron. It's another writer, but it's a writer I haven't heard of. Uh, they have... Do we want to spend this much on an Adventures Noble? No? Okay. Haven't been raided. But they have had a warehouse burned down, so they will be buying at a decent price here. We should probably dump inventory if we can, if it's not terrible. Uh, it's 20. 20 is pretty good. Alright, we don't need anywhere near this many shields. I think I need 230s. Don't think I need another 280. Don't need a 250 by that logic. I think one 180 is fine. Don't need another harness. Oh, I just picked up more armor, 260, 190. Mm, we'll hold it for now. Not super excited to buy it. Get rid of junk. Was our goblin pike any good? Anyone remember? It wasn't, right? Our axe kind of sucked too. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, get rid of Unhold Heart. We've got, I don't think the Unhold Hides do anything do anything for us right now, right? I don't need any of the stuff that crafts from them. Seems like a decent set of sales. Just a quick scan of the inventory for anything else we don't want. Pretty sure this is garbage. Yeah, good conversation and chat about this actually. It's been really fun talking about uh, books. Someone who reads a lot. Famed armor smith got slain a few days ago. Orcs ransacked his place and ran off with it somewhere to the northwest. Yep, we'll be going there. Okay, good. This is why you check the rumor mill. Somewhere to the northwest is like over here. All right, uh, let's go do our mission and then come back and do that. Do not let me forget that chat. I would love famed items. Who doesn't love famed items? Already sold. I'm not too worried about what's in these things. Let's so move through the night. Uh, 
feet to form two dozen opponents in battle. Two, oh, two dozen is 24. Eh, I still did 24. I was thinking it was one dozen in the blink. All right, we have Markwood Horson. Dude, is this, this is... Is that a reasonable bastard? That's a reasonable bastard. How do we deal with this? Do we have someone we're willing to dismiss? Kitchen turned out well. Who is on the chopping block? Vifurix, if we can get a better Bannerman, but that's not a Bannerman replacement. Dude, like, who? Fire Lord? Fire Lord's been with us forever. The only reason he's bad right now is because he's drunk. If he was not drunk, he'd be a I don't think we have someone we can recruit for that. Like, Solly? But 91.33 at this stage in the game is good. 75 and... Uh, I don't think we can get it. Sifo's bad. Oh, Sifo. <laughs> I forgot. I'm like, wow, Sifo's probably bad. I should go check him out. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. 387 is more than I want to pay. 57 is fine. I want the goat cheese too. Let's just move out a little bit deeper. No. Firing him would cost a million dollars. Who cares? Valuable Wefson. Oh my god. We have just another, another uh, legendary. Hills a long way from here. Hills a long way? Just hills? Any hills? Hills a long way from here. Well, I don't know what a long way is. Is this a long way? That's probably a long way. Oh, I wasn't hoping to get ambushed by this group. That's okay. 